I find it quite interesting how the AOD is so desperate that they grasp for straws now in order to try to expose me. I have mostly ignored their attempts to mess with me because they're nothing but a bunch of trolls. However, the latest issue I would like to address. As I quite frequently attack Brett Kane for e-begging, where he asks all of YouTube to continue financing his house payments, uh, they are now trying desperately to depict me as an e-beggar and they show you my World of Warcraft Guild website. What they do not know is that these people are mostly real-life friends and relatives of mine. We help each other out all the time in regards to all kinds of things and this was one of the occasions where the others helped me out. Uh, I do see quite a difference when you ask real-life friends and relatives for some assistance with something compared to a complete bunch of strangers as is the case on YouTube and I find it highly interesting that they would actually Google for me and search for anything and everything they can find about me in order to try to make me look bad it would help them greatly if they were to fact check, maybe contact some members of my guild who would then probably tell them, yeah, she's my sister, or yeah, she's a really good friend of mine for over 10 years now. She attended my wedding, or at least was invited to my wedding, real life wedding. We spent vacations together, all of us, you know. Um, it's hilarious the way they try to do this. Um, yeah, so I'll just continue ignoring them. I just wanted to clear this one up because you have not ever seen me beg money off of YouTube or complete strangers. When I ask real life friends and relatives to help me out with something, I don't think it can be considered e-begging. I think we've all done this before. Thank you very much. Bye bye. <laughs>